idea of having to walk 10 to 15 minutes to class just sounds awful to me. Hi there, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karis. And if you're interested in watching more college related videos, then you are at the right channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. Today, I am going to be talking about the pros and cons of going to a small college or a small university. So, I personally go to a small Christian school and I'm actually a transfer there. I went to a, another smaller school. Um, it wasn't a Christian school. I think it was technically a Catholic school. I'm not Catholic, but it wasn't very faith-centered. So, I have had two different experiences of going to a small school and I am wanting to share those with you to help you kind of have a better understanding of what it's like to go to a small college. So if you're interested, keep on watching. A little bit about me before we start the video. So I am a junior at Lincoln Christian University. It's located in central Illinois. It's a very small school. I'm majoring in business administration. I am an RA there, so I'm in charge of the girls on our floor with another co-RA, and I'm also a volleyball player at our school. So that is it about me. I am now going to move on to all the pros. I think we're gonna start with the pros, yeah. We're gonna start with the pros, and then we're going to move on to the cons. The very first pro of going to a small school is the professors are amazing they truly care about you I'm sure you've heard that if you go to a big school you're just a number and the teachers don't really care about you well that is not the case at all with going to a small school because there's not as many students therefore your professors can actually focus on you and invest in you as a person I seriously like cannot tell you how much I appreciate my professors I especially have two business professors who have been the biggest help in my life. Like I am so, 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 so grateful for them. And I know this probably sounds super extra, but I just seriously appreciate them. I learned so much more about business from them outside of class than I do just in class because of the amount of hours they are willing to invest in me outside of class. So. Seriously, if you go to a small school, that is going to be one of the best things ever is that you truly get to build a relationship with your professors and your professors actually seriously care about. So another pro of going to a small school is the class sizes are so much smaller. I think the most I've had in my classes were probably like 50 students, but that's pushing it. Usually we have like 20 to 30 students in each class, which is, or even smaller than that, which is super nice because the class period is more of like a discussion as opposed to just the professor standing up there and lecturing at you and you not really listening to anything he's saying. <laughs> so I really, really appreciate that. And because the class sizes are smaller, you get to know more about the students around you and it's just easier to make connections that way. Okay, so this next pro is going to sound a little ridiculous. However, I personally think it's a huge pro and that is if you go to a small school, it's most likely a small campus. Therefore, there is a lot less walking. Now, I'm not a lazy person. I don't mind exercising, but the idea of having to walk 10 to 15 minutes to class just sounds awful to me. We have annoying, brutal winters here in Illinois, and I cannot imagine having to walk 15 minutes in the snow to get to class. So I personally really appreciate that I only have to walk for like two minutes to get to class. And even then, I'm still dreading having to go outside to go to class. <laughs> Another huge pro of going to a small school is it does feel a little bit more safe. At least I feel safe at my school. Now, it might help the fact that I do go to a school that's literally located in the middle of cornfields and I don't really think anybody wants to come around there if they're not a student but the school I transferred from which was also another smaller school was located in the middle of a bigger city and I still felt safe around campus. So the very last pro I have for you which I think is the biggest blessing of going to a small school is the community that you get at a smaller school. Now I'm not going to sit here and say if you go to a small school you are guaranteed 
to have a great community. That's not always the fact. So for example, like I told you all, I transferred to the school I'm currently at. And the school I started out at, I didn't really necessarily feel like there was a tight knit community. I, it kind of still kind of felt like a uh, public big school. Um, however, the school that I did transfer to, it's about the same size. It's not any smaller, but I do think the community here is a lot more tight knit and I think it has a lot to do with just the culture that a school has set in place. Okay, so really quickly, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this in the future. Also, I've already done a few other college related videos. If you wanna check those out, I've done a video over like things that you should pack for college, um, some of my favorite Amazon products that I really think every college student should have. I've also done a video over just everything you should know before moving to college. So if you wanna check those videos out, make sure you check the description down below or you can click on the i right above your screen and all those videos should come down listed for you so moving on to the con earlier i mentioned at a smaller school the community is a little bit more tight knit and although yes that is a huge pro it could also be a con because everybody kind of knows everyone and so if you slip up or mess up or anything People are going to know about it and that can honestly be annoying and you don't really want to have to deal with drama but that is one of the risks of going to a smaller school is people are more likely to know more about your drama. Another con would be a lot of smaller schools do have very limited majors so if you are wanting to major in something a little bit more intricate a smaller school will most likely not be able to offer you that major which can be a little disappointing but just keep that in mind whenever you're trying to choose a school in the future another con of going to a small school is there's usually less diversity because it typically attracts the same kind of people from similar backgrounds so if you go to a big university you will most likely be able to be surrounded with a lot of different people with very different background, different culture, and all that. However, that's not always the case with smaller schools. The last con I wanted to share with you is, if you do go to a smaller school, you might not have the typical college experience. What I mean by that is, you are not going to be able to go to the football games because most smaller schools don't have football or join a sorority in a fraternity or stuff like that. So if that's been like your biggest, dream is to do those things then i would not recommend going to a smaller school. but overall i am very thankful for the experience that i have had at a small school and i would really recommend it but i do understand it's definitely not for everyone all right that is it for today i really hope you guys found this video helpful if you have any questions please don't hesitate to comment them down below also you can even dm me on instagram and ask me personally i would love to chat with you um, my instagram will be linked in the description down below and you should also follow me on Instagram while you're at it. <laughs> I am super active on my Instagram stories, so if you do follow me, you'll be able to see a little bit more um, what I'm doing throughout my day, and I also like to share tips and tricks and stuff like that on my Instagram. So, follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to watch those two other videos or three other videos I recommended earlier, but that is it for today, and until next time, bye.